All right, I will preface this as stating I have not played a Silent Hill game before. I've only watched my friends play them. Although I am really excited for Silent Hill 2 to come out. I'm hoping to snag that collector's edition. Um, I have ends. Seeking a connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. The strongest animals don't form groups. Oh, look at that hair back there. They act alone. And need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. There's no beauty in living like that. I want to be strong on my own. Without a group. If there were only someone oh. who would understand that to adult me. Oh, it's pretty so far. I'll assume our main character looks like the girl from the picture. How sneaky of them to drop like a free Silent Hill game. I hope she doesn't lose her glasses. Oh. Oh, it's first person. Ugh. First person scares me. I prefer over the shoulder. But My phone battery better not die. Maya, I want to show you something. Can you come to the villa? Oh, yeah. Maya told me to come here. I'm gonna assume there's just jump scares and I don't have to like run from anything. There's no trophies for this game either, which I was a little bummed about, but a free little hour game, what can you expect? This model. Is it this building? Looks like it from that little dent we were seeing them in. Oh yeah, look, Villa. A plan to be rebuild Kettenstad, an overview. A town with a long history as a thriving building stronghold. In recent years, those in their 20s have begun leaving in mass, causing concern. The aim of this wide-scale project is to rebuild Kettenstad and restore to its former glory with the help of Chinese investment firms. The theme is revitalization. The abandoned properties developed by Japanese Co. in 2008 have long been a problem, but repurposing them was we can cut costs substantially and better realize our vision for new Kenton's dad. Wow. So this place didn't Ooh. always suck. Our parents dreamed of this? Okay. Can't swing or anything. I don't like that. Plans to rebuild Cat and Sad have suffered yet another setback as instability caused by COVID-19 reduced interest from foreign investors. Previous plans to jumpstart the town failed to materialize owing to the monetary instability caused by the 2008 global financial crisis, which forced the plan to involve Japanese, incorp <laughs> Japanese incorporations and financial institutions to be reconsidered. Two attempts to rebuild, two failures, two unfortunate circumstances. Cat and Sad has struggled to bounce back to increase unemployment. Increasing unemployment. The city council has considered ways to revitalize the economy by drawing skilled experts to the area, but as of yet, no effective measures have been implemented. Everyone's losing their futures. That's all adults are. A slave to the system. Well, this game seems like it's going to be a little depressing. Oh, can I go in here? No. Where are you, Maya? No exit. Trapped. I've always been trapped. Oh, 
Oh, a lot of reading for my tired mind. September 28th, 2001, notice of provisional meeting to all Villa residents. We have received many inquiries about the management of this building after the recent news. We would therefore like to hold a meeting to explain our policies more formally. We hope you can find the time to attend. Maya? I'm probably going to jump really bad because I'm super tired. So we'll see how well this is going to be for me. Why is my controller vibrating? Did Maya do this? CB. Cherry Blossom. That's Maya's signature. She's amazing. <laughs> The city's a blank canvas, begging for us to paint it with Ooh, our Ooh, it looks really realistic. Things. I want to show the hidden side of girls, their impulses, their urges. What are you hiding inside? Don't worry about what people think. Be proud. This game looks really good. At least in the cutscenes. How could I ever be proud of myself? I cannot stop yawning. <sighs> Did I just hear? No, not a kitty. For a graffiti artist, spray paint and the blank wall are canvas. The walls of this particular apartment building, the canvas for several artists with new pieces showing up every day. Social media star CB features her work here. Given her passion for flowers, it's the only fitting that her name is CB, which is short for Cherry Blossom. CB's art continues to captivate the hearts of youth. Reached out for her... F oh. Uh, reached out for her comment, keeping her eyes fixed. New piece, she said to this. All I'm doing is showing what these girls feel on the inside, but can't show on the outside. If any of them connect with a girl in the art, it's probably because they're experiencing the same thing. CB added that the flowers she depicts on the young paints bloom out of the scars they bear. The flowers represent the girls overcoming past traumas, or at least their desire to do so. Everyone can see how talented she is. I, couldn't I really shouldn't different. have put my camera there. Great. Stop. What's happening? Oh, well, my phone's glitching out. Ooh. Emil, are you all right? You asleep? You still asleep? Sorry if I woke you. Didn't see you at your job yesterday. Still not feeling good. You taking your meds? Sorry for the late reply. I fell asleep. So my Emil, don't worry about it. How are you feeling? I'm okay. I, I can actually get kind of some rest now kind of get some rest now. Didn't mean to scare you or anything. Seriously, don't worry about it. All's good now. I'm still a little tired, but I'm going to get up soon. <sighs> That's a relief. What's my name? Oh. Cheap crazy this loser. I guess I don't need to read them like I was going to. Child abuse neglect in Kettenstad. A recent statistical survey has shown the rate of child abuse in Kettenstad last year was nearly double that of the average in other developed nations in Europe. 
the recent economic strife and its resulting poverty are thought to be the cause. I wonder if I can move my camera. Doesn't appear so, so I'll just have to guess what some of the words are. Someone's got a lot of time on their hands. Antidepressants. I've taken enough medication. Oh, is she just like in Delulu land? Maybe she's sleeping and it's a dream. Ew. I would not want to be in this bathroom. Is that her mom talking to her? I'm like kind of confused. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mom. Mm. So my name's Anita, and this is our friend Emil. What about you, Anita? What? You didn't look so hot the other day. I'm fine. You don't have to worry about me. Well, obviously I'm gonna. I'm taking my meds. Meds are good, but what about the therapy? That doesn't really do much, to be honest. Talking to adults doesn't help. Some of our classmates were hospitalized. You don't have to do this alone. I know, I'll let you know if I need anything. And those guys deserved it. Uh-oh. They feel bad, you know, all of them. Feel bad about what? Obviously, I was getting bullied. I'm just going to pretend that this is not going to jump scare me anything, and I'll just walk confidently around. Oh. 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 Oh, 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 oh. Crazy flower monster, leave me alone. Ooh. Where am I? Oh, it moves fast. I want to show you something. Can you come to the villa? You here? I'm in the studio. Maya? There's a monster here. Are you okay? <laughs> okay. Teenage suicide continues at infamous building. A rundown apartment complex in Kettenstad has become known for its suicides, with teenage girls jumping from its roof practically every year. Despite recent repeat events, the building abandoned ever since the development management company declared bankruptcy remains accessible with ease. The young and unemployed are not determined or deterred by the building's grim reputation, though with many continuing to enter, young graffiti artists use their work for it. Meanwhile, resident security concerns continue to grow. Please, not Maya too. She has been acting weird of lately. I'm more worried about me. Cherry blossoms bloom within the grasp of death. Okay. With most flowers, the rot sets in, then they fall. That's the price of new life. Not 
about cherry blossoms, though. They bloom beautiful. They fall beautiful. That's how I want my life to be. <clears throat> Why is she not replying? Come on! Ooh, my battery is pretty full. I'll be watching that every time the phone pops up. <laughs> Well, there's only so many doors in here. Oh, wonderful. It's gone, right? Yeah. Where is the studio? Uh, I would like to be able to walk faster and control when my light's on. That would be ideal. Oh. oh the famous suicide spot. Oh, that's where they jump from up here. Okay. Inside the fog of social media, solitude and anxiety in teenagers. All of the teenagers' interviews said they were ashamed of the risque selfies they posted online. They also claimed they experienced anxiety over not getting any likes on such photos. What all of the kids had in common was extremely low self-esteem. The greater their anxiety, the lower their confidence. The more pronounced their reactions were to positive attention. The sense of fulfillment they experienced after getting something online is difficult for adults to comprehend. Furthermore, even when acknowledged, the teenagers could still not view their actions positively and quickly revert to despair, seeking more attention to fill the void. Teenagers who are not yet psychologically mature run the risk of experiencing this toxic quest for validation. Mm. Okay. I'd be too scared to come graffiti here. A lot of bullying imagery. Oof, creepy. Maya. I hope you're all right. I hope I'm gonna be all right. By the way, thought any more about college? I can't do it. You don't have to decide right away. So, once you're at college, are you not coming back here? No way. I'll come back occasionally. My parents would give me shit if I didn't come home for breaks. But yeah, it just gives college some more thought, okay? I told you I can't go. It's not for me. Studying isn't my thing. I told you I would help you. It's fine. I can't do anything. Don't know what I'd do if I got in. That's not true. You're way too hard on yourself. Be proud of who you are. Wait, what about those drawings you showed me? You could audit an art class. It could lead to a job. I'm not Maya, okay? Or am I Maya? Amelie doesn't get it. Amelie? Uh-oh. Gotcha. So you don't really like this place. I get it. People in this town... See graffiti as nothing but trashy doodles. And my classmates talk about me. Might not be a bad idea to leave town, actually. The great thing about graffiti is the world's your canvas. Your illegal canvas. And as long as I'm with you, I can have fun anywhere. There's no way out. That teddy bear's been following us. Am I just like leading to the top and I'm gonna jump? Maya, 
I really hope that's not how it ends. Are you here? Is this your studio? Are these Maya's sketches? These aren't even finished. And they look this good. They seem happy. A new life. So full of life. Are you here? Where are you? This place is dangerous. We need to go. Maya, please respond. My ass reading backwards. Maya, respond, please. Why won't she reply? Well, she asked if we were here. Where are you? Am I going crazy? No. Well, this one's cool. It's beautiful. Oh, I'm trying to read all right. Maya have in mind. Did you post this too? <laughs> Even more followers. Yeah, 37,000, that'd be nice. Okay, that's not how it works. It. Thanks for the follow, Inya Ava. Stop with the boring photos already. No sexy stuff, no followers. Wow, you hate your followers? Congrats on reaching your follower goal. Oh. Come on. Sexy stop! Just stop! Please! She's stressing me out. Drop. Why did she jump from the villa? Why did she have to die? Maya's dead? Wait. Maya's really dead? Uh, how? How could I forget that? Who's this? Find it. Who? Oh, I would be awfully scared. Okay, I'm just running. Oh my god. Is that thing chasing me? I don't even want to look behind me. Oh yeah, it is. Oh yeah, it is.
I can buy myself flowers. Leave me alone. <laughs> um, please leave me alone. Click, 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 click. <laughs> okay, I mean, it's daylight out here. I'm not scared anymore. I don't like how things can just appear, like, right in front of you. That's not nice. Maya died. But her art lives on. Even more followers. She's obsessed. No one is ever going to notice me. Uh, no. This is where I jumped from. I was gonna say, why aren't there any railings up there? Maybe they knocked those ones down. Maybe I can be like her. Here goes. Oh. Well, that can't be the end of the game, right? What? I'm awfully confused. But why didn't I die? I don't know. You find it? Find what? Can't leave till you find it. Is this really you, Maya? Can't leave till you find it. Maya's dead, you're not her. Can't leave till you find it. Who the fuck is this? You can't leave till you find it. Tell me. What the fuck? Yeah, what the absolute fuck? Oh no, my battery. Oh no, indeed. Um, I already got scared of that monster once, so I can only imagine what's going to happen when I don't have a battery. I'm going to have to change the brightness because I can't see shit. It's all your fault. This is all your fault. Our bad things happen because of you. Of you. Do I have to go in all these rooms again? That's rude. Who would do this? I'd be carrying one of those lamps around. Find me an extension cord and all this garbage.
Well, this is a new room. Oh, okay. Yep. This is where we're going. Children who turn trauma into tales. Solitude and anxiety in teenagers part two. Of all the teenagers surveyed suffering from deep psychological issues caused by past experiences, and interestingly, all of them conceptualize those issues as grandiose stories of sorts. One girl placed herself in the role of a tragic hero. She herself was at the mercy of an abusive stepmother. Her loving real mother existed elsewhere. Another girl viewed her childhood scars as stigmata, believing these scars would bloom into a beautiful cherry blossom. These convenient tales in the face of extreme adversity born out of a deep desire to escape unbearable pain hatred the greater the trauma the more grandiose the story surrounding it oh, wait it's back on yes yes we like this how could somebody do this i don't know it's rude Haters everywhere. I bet it was these guys. No. No, 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 no. Let me grab these darts. I want a weapon. Okay, there's two jumps. Two jump scares. Let me go back in here and go look in this little corner. I like that it's kind of just like a... What's this? Okay. That's kind of just like a click and point game. I'm not in any real danger. Yeah, I already read that one. Sorry for the late reply. I fell asleep. Like before. You feeling okay? Good enough to get out of bed. Sorry for being a bad friend. So is Maya really dead? Why are you asking that? Please tell me. I still can't believe she's gone, either. I wish it was a lie. She seemed perfectly fine before it all happened. So Maya's really dead then, yeah. <laughs> Anita, are you okay? You getting enough sleep? Kinda, I'm taking some really good meds. Meds are good, but what about therapy? You're so good to me. That doesn't really do much, to be honest. You're leaving me behind. Maya really didn't tell you anything? No, all she talked about was a book she recently read. Still felt... Still, I felt guilty for what happened. Even if she didn't tell me anything, I should have Did known Maya something was up. Really not say anything? Like, at all? So what'd you think of the book? The author killed themselves when they were young. Something beautiful from something tragic. It's kind of enchanting, isn't it? I wonder what they were thinking right before they died. Good hair. Anyway, I didn't think you'd share your thoughts in a letter. You really are shy, aren't you? Am I Maya? I actually kind of like that, though. You write in a really flowery passionate way. I can't wait to read more. Oh, okay. Letters.
I want food, do what I say. Or if you want food, do what I say. In Japanese culture, there's long been a sense of something sacrificed with harakiri, killing oneself by slicing one's stomach being a prime example. The idea was that by taking your own life, you symbolically purge the world of your transgressions and purify yourself. This concept can be confusing to many Westerners with young people incorrectly assuming the Japanese yearn for a beautiful way to die. Modern Japanese people, however, do not view suicide in a positive light anymore, and the life they value is not that of biological variety, but rather of social one, where death is something to protect that life. You want food? Do what I say. Same article I already read. Yeah. Oh, well, this isn't creepy. Belief in the Witch of Kettenstad. Those who believe in the Witch of Kettenstad share many practices with modern Wiccans, such as praying for a bountiful harvest and goddess worship. What sets the practice apart is a slight blend of both Western and Eastern customs. As for what led to the mixing of customs, there is one creative theory. During the joint efforts of Japanese and German entrepreneurs and laborers in the 1930s to foster economic growth and prosperity, there was an exchange in cultural beliefs given rise to the belief in witches. Well, that ain't good. I mean, I guess there could be like multiple Silent Hills running around. Wonder what those guys are talking about. Fortune telling? A lot of people are getting into that. Huh. You don't believe in that stuff? Well, I think there's something new about it. <sighs> My great-grandmother was a fortune teller. I hear people here used to treat her like some sort of prophet. But they all eventually turned on my great-grandmother. Guess you can predict other people's futures. But not your own. I feel as though I'm going to be chased Terror soon. <laughs> no point predicting my future. Do I want to be chased? Not yet. This is all your fault, everything. You're a heartless bitch. Stole my only friend, my place in this world, all of it. And you don't even care. I'm invisible to you. I fucking hate you. You're not talented. You're not special. You call those pieces of shit art. You came out of nowhere and ruined everything. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Get the fuck out of my life, you piece of shit freak. Well, that letter would not hurt my feelings. I'm just waiting for her to open that door and that fucking flower thing's gonna be in my face. Dushlin Medical University of Medicine. Dear incoming freshmen, welcome to Dushlin Medical University. Founded in 1709, MDU is one of Europe's oldest and most revered institutions. It's a state-of-the-art research facility eagerly awaiting, your <laughs> eagerly awaiting your arrival. Orientation details, yada yada. This is for the college Amelie wants to go to. Is Amelie gone too? There's Charlie. Hey Anita, you got a minute to talk? Sure, what's up? You seem kind of out of it before. If something's bothering you, you know you can let me know. Thanks, but I'm fine. Sorry to bring it up. Don't want to pry. Nah, it's okay. I don't mind. 
hey, we should go shopping together sometime. I haven't left my house in what feels like forever. Plus, my brother's coming here. Oh, right. You okay? Yeah, just going to try to avoid him as much as possible. So shopping, yeah, we can find you something cute. No, I'm good. I'm not a fan of crowds. And nothing looks cute on me anyway. Stop talking like that. You're way too hard on yourself. You've got the looks. You just need to find the right outfit. Too hard on myself, huh? Amelie's the only one who thinks that. December 23rd, 2020. I haven't been able to study since my brother came back Christmas break. He's nice and doesn't interrupt my st studies or anything, but I can't stand this, him staring at me. I know he was probably just messing with me back then, but I've been scared of him ever since. It's made me hate any guy looking at me. I can't believe other girls walk around school and town showing so much skin. I think I'm finally finding my study groove. My test scores are really good. I'm worried about how much my parents are fighting recently, though. They were yelling at each other again today. I asked my mom why, but she wouldn't say. This is a test. This is it. <laughs> test day tomorrow. Mom told me I should be proud of myself since I worked so hard. I'm feeling great. But I know she loves me, and I love her. Mom, I'm going to ace this test tomorrow for Dad and you. Oh, I feel like it keeps looking like there's someone in the beds. October 17th, 2020. I'm finally focused on my studies, so I think I might pull an all-nighter. It won't be good for my skin. I can just hear people calling me a troll and nerd, but I don't care. I have to make it to college in the city. Mom and Dad are counting on me to do well. I'll make them proud by getting into my first choice. All right, time to hit the books in the morning. November 9th, 2020. Dad was talking today about how there was a plan to something the town they're going to use a bunch of funding from china to turn the town into something better but everything got canceled due to covid sure it would have been nice if it had gone through but i just couldn't see it happening even if things worked out not in this place it hasn't been special since i was little there's nothing to do the buildings are ancient it's a dump my future isn't here it's in the city where college life exists for me everything riding on my entrance exam I have to get out before my brother comes back So my guess is we all lived in this building and I'm kind of just like Stay home alone. going through like what happened to Emil and Maya and then it'll like end with what happens to me. But I also have no idea. August 24th, 2021. I got some materials for my first choice in the mail today, going to be a college freshman. I'm so happy, I still can't believe it. Mom and dad are going to study, I'm going to study my ass off and be the best daughter ever. Thank you so much for everything. The September 22nd, 2021, mom and dad are yelling at each other. They're talking about bankruptcy. Wasn't everything supposed to work out even without the rebuilding plan? So this means they're out of money, right? Does this mean I can't go to college? All that hard work was for nothing? No way, don't leave me, mom. I can't stay here, I'll be stuck here with my brother. September 23rd, 2021. Mom just left. She told me to get out of the way. I have to get out of here. I want to disappear. But where would I go? This is all a bad dream. This is all a bad dream. Only hated the way her brother looked at her. I bet she wants to leave to get away from all that. Young student found dead. Possible suicide. September 25th, 2021. At around 10 a.m. on the 24th, a local resident reported seeing an 18-year-old female high school student fall from the roof of the Ken's dad apartment building. The girl was rushed to the hospital but was pronounced dead two hours later. According to school staff, the girl was distraught over not being able to attend college due to troubles at home. No note or diary was found, but police believe her death may be a suicide. It's not like this, though. Right? So my two besties off themselves, and I am going to follow suit. I don't know if I'm, like, in the afterlife or not, though, already, you know. That was the dump room. I already went in there. I like this. Nice and bright. School. Let's stay here. Mm-hmm. People better not come out and start being mean to me. 
because that would not be nice. Take the skateboard and roll away from that flower monster. Interesting. Dumb! Did they just throw a shoe at me? All right. Tell him off, girl. What do you mean darkness is coming? Shut your whore mouth. Oh. This is trippy. It makes me want to like turn my head. <laughs> oh, it's hurting my eyes. I better not wake up in that room again. <clears throat> I don't like this. Is that thing chasing me? Oh my god. Oh, it is. It, it really is. Oh, fuck. I don't know where I'm going. This could be in front of me, isn't it? Oh! Oh! Fuck, 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 fuck. Ooh, go, go, go! Am I just in like a fucking maze? Oh, bullshit. Oh. Oh. Okay, sounds like Homer as voice. Not again. Not again. What did I do to deserve this? Find it? No, find what? Find it? I can't do this. Just tell me what I'm looking for. What the fuck am I supposed to find? Yeah, get mad. Stop puffing and let me examine this. The girl in this picture is Amelie. Oh, 
January 31st. I haven't really been in a good mood since this morning to lose myself in my graffiti, but I wasn't feeling it. Maybe it's because mom and I argued this morning. Probably not. We've clashed before. I've known for a long time we value things differently. Is it because my classmates teased me? I doubt it. They don't know me. They're just taking their issues out on someone else. It's got to be because I lost my special person and that and that they gave me, right? What do you feel like this? I've never felt like this before. All right, spooky pants, you are not. Oh. Well, then where am I going to go? I've already read this. This guy looks familiar. New character. They're hurt. Where are you going? <sighs> yeah, that's right. Amelie. Hmm? What's that? Oh, you like what you see? Come closer then. Wait a sec. You two are from my class. Those glasses look good on you. Uh, sorry, she's so cute. I couldn't help myself. Maya, Amelie, and Anita. By any time. You're always welcome. <laughs> Maya only ever cared about Amelie. She didn't see me. I was invisible to her. Hmm. That's not true, Anita. Oh, pregnancy test positive. Oh no. The Daylight again. So okay. I'm back at school. There's no beauty in any of this. I could not stop yawning. Oh. Read it when you get home, okay? Where was it? I don't know, it looked like blue or green. The witch hut of Kettenstad. In 1930s Germany, the town of Kettenstad attracted wealthy entrepreneurs and enjoyed a period of economic prosperity behind that success, though, was supposedly a Japanese woman who used her clairvoyance and mystical powers to guide the entrepreneurs. She would come to be known as the Witch of the Far East and would be greatly respected by the German people. However, in 1947, the entrepreneurs suffered great loss due to a large fire spread throughout their industrial parks losing the majority of their factories. The witch of the Far East, who was hospitalized, jumped off the roof of the hospital and killed herself. The witch had been diagnosed with an unknown illness, and many believe the fires pushed her over the edge. Some citizens, however, claim that a witch hunt was the reason. They argue that the witch's rise to prominence angered the party who used the chaos of the fires as cover-up for the incident. There is no evidence to support this claim. 
and many now view it as a mere conspiracy theory, but the mayor's party did manage to regain influence of the town after the witch's death. Since then, citizens have started to believe any stroke of bad luck is a result of the witch's curse. A witch's curse? Is that why I saw what I did before? Probably not. Um, is there anything else for me to read? Kattenstad, the town cursed by a witch. Malicious magic to blame the city slump. Kattenstad continues to see a rapid decline of its population. The birth rate is a mere 0.7%, less than half of the German nation average of one6 Miscarriages are also at 31%, more than the double average, more than double the average of 15%. The economy is in shambles, and the once booming industry city has failed to revitalize itself twice. A number of researchers studying the occult point to the cause of the economic downturn in Kettenstad. It was a Japanese woman who used her clairvoyance to influence economic development in the town in the 1930s. Researchers believe she was hunted down and killed before her death. She is believed to have placed a curse on the town. Some Stymining its growth. So it is a curse. But why me? Why do I have to be cursed like this? I mean, do we actually, like, believe this, that it's cursed? Tell me, is this your curse? <laughs> I'll just block that bitch. Okay, well, I guess I'll just walk around the library some more. What the fuck am I supposed to do that? Am I looking in the wrong spots, perhaps? Well, that book looks important. Why can't I grab it? Twenty hours later. Oh. Looks like there's space for a book here. Wait, I think I know these. <sighs> I still wait for you, is that what it's called? No way. No way. Let me the fuck out this room. La la la, walking down the hallway. It's like that other school. Why does this always happen? I 
I've never seen a man like that before. I feel like I'm about to be chased again. You all right, Anita? You left me on read, so I was worried. Sorry, I was just thinking about Maya. Not sure if you know this, but Maya was bullied at school. I know. But she said she was okay. I figured I shouldn't push the issue. That it was too late. Why didn't she say anything before she died? I wish she had just talked to me. Maybe she didn't see me as a friend. That's not true. Everyone's drama. Insecure. Back in this treacherous hallway again. Thirsty. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff. Did I miss anything in these lockers? No. Locker. No, it's not here. It wasn't <gasps> here before either. Are those razor blades? Oh, wow. My locker. Why is it locked? Are you gonna is make me find the combo? I don't want to see. It won't open. No, I don't know. Let me back that out real quick. Is that in my notes? What? the code. Oh, look, a one, two, I wish I just didn't walk so damn slow. Well, is it just one, two, three, four? Uh, no. Maybe they go in order, so we'll see. We'll say, oh, zero. Zero, three, one, two, I know what's inside. Oh, and I can't look away. I don't know what's inside. Open it. Cute pens. What's this letter? Is it inside the book? Remember when I said I wanted to live like a cherry blossom? To be beautiful and dignified for a fleeting moment, simply by letting go of life. Daring to bloom knowing it won't last and so falling in vivid color I wish I could live like that I want to experience true beauty if only for a moment I met someone who made me feel different he showed me a whole new world Gave me hope. I honestly thought he could help me find a new me. 
I felt it with all my heart. But people uh. didn't understand us. Didn't want that from us. In the end, they took my hope from me. They took him away. can't achieve beauty seek comfort in others they fear anyone different hate them try to tear them down oh. I can't take much more of this oh nope, she's gonna go I wish you and I had I wish you and I could run away together Mama me. It's just me and you. Maya. She was asking Amelie for help. But I just. You like jealous psycho? Uh, I only wanted to take her down a bit. She she was taking Amelie away from me. She wouldn't pay attention to me. How was I supposed to know she'd actually kill herself? <laughs> oh, so you're the bully, Anita. <laughs> Let me get the fuck out of here. <laughs> okay, or not. Well, isn't this already the letter that I read? Mm-hmm. Jealousy does crazy things, y'all. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's why I keep saying it's all my fault everywhere. Isn't it gonna be like right up here in front of me? I don't like this. Mm, scared. Scared, scared, scared. Oh! Yeah. All right, listen. Well, you do walk awfully fast. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, it was my shadow. Oh, <laughs> not that way. It's like a big maze. Oh. Oh! Oh. Oh. Oh, how exciting. 
Thanks for the follow, Freya I'm VTuber. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, and I'm terrified. The Blossom Monster. Okay. <clears throat> I like, don't even want to look behind me because this thing is too fast. All these fucking walls look the same. Okay, pay attention. This is where I got lost last time. Why? Why? Am I just too slow? Listen here. You're going down this time. Are you here to punish me? I feel like I'm being punished. I'm sick of going in circles right here. Third time's the charm, or is this more than three? Why does this bitch sound like she's fucking charging at me? And then she's gonna, like, what, come from this door? We're back up here. Maya, I finally get it. I don't know what you wanted me to find. Oh, that I'm an asshole. Take you away from me. 
My mom was right. I should never have been born. Extra. No. I'm gonna end up back in that room again. Mm. Yep. So am I gonna want like retribution for this is different. I jumped off the building. I don't like it down here. Huh? That would be terrifying. Find it. How can I get you to forgive me? Please, Maya, tell me. Why won't you say anything? They should have left my body on the ground for me to just like stare at. Mm. February 4th, I ended up heading to the roof of the villa. I couldn't think of the girl who jumped to her death last year. Actually, a lot of girls killed themselves here, all teens, supposedly. Now the place is a famous spot for people to kill themselves. Looking down from the roof, I could see how high up it was. The thought of a light breeze sending me flying made me queasy. Were they not scared? What was going through their heads? Were they jumping away from something or to something? Dang, she's breathing hard. Um, Blossom Monster, stay away. I don't appear to be moving too fast. Don't you dare go outside tonight. All right, fuck it. I mean, I'd be panic breathing too, I suppose, in this case, so who am I to judge? Oh, Lord. Silent Hill phenomenon. The suicide rate has increased around the world in large part due to the struggles brought on by COVID-19. I will say, um, I haven't had them or I haven't seen anyone talk about COVID-19 like in a game world before, so that is interesting. With countries still unsure how best to handle the issue. These trying times have also given rise to a strange phenomenon in many areas. Those affected suddenly claim to see fog, even on fair weather days, and lose consciousness shortly after. This has come to be known as the Silent Hill phenomenon, named after a similar event that occurred in an eponymous town. The first to propose the theory explaining why this could be happening is Dr. Triple X, a social psychologist at Triple X University who had the following to say on the matter. To one who is psychologically unstable, fog represents itself as uncertainty and sensory illusions. When a state of one's vision may become obscured and tunneled, as if one's wandering through a dense fog or mist, societal uncertainty or apprehension about the future manifests as fog, thus blurring the lines between illusion and reality. As time goes on, we are seeing more and more cases of the Silent Hill phenomenon. In response, Dr. Triple X calls for a rapid rebuilding of society, as well as the stronger emphasis on counseling and mental health care for young. For the young. Yeah, let me get in this elevator. The doors don't need to, like, close that fast, you know what I mean? 
Oh no, does that mean that thing's coming? Let me get to the room. December 29th, 2011. <laughs> December 29th, 2011. I finally lost touch with him. I'll never see him again. Found my happy ever after, but it was all of a dream. However, I haven't lost everything. I still have my children, my cute little angels who light up my life. Wait, was there more pages? No. Oh. Oh my god, that, look how dirty those pots and pans are. Um, is this going to be the same room over and over again? February 10th, 2012. My new man showed up to my place today with pizza. Children definitely need a father, but they still won't take to him. He looked annoyed when he left. I hope he doesn't hate me. My daughter drew a picture of our family. We're smiling, holding hands. I wish she would have drawn him as well. Maybe she doesn't realize he might join our family. She is slower than the other kids her age. I'm sure she'll catch up and pass them soon enough. I know how to raise a child. I'm a good mother. I'm nothing like the heartless bitch who raised me. I won't fill my children with hate and fear. Oh, no. I feel like I'm getting shorter, my character. Am I shrinking? I'm giving up my life for you! March 7th, 2012. He showed up again with a smile on his face and a pizza. A pizza in his hands from the new place he was raving about. My daughter hated pizza, though. She's extremely picky. I should probably teach her to eat things she doesn't like. I know I was forced to eat things I hated when I was a kid, but I guess it has to be done. March 22nd, 2012. The kids finally blew up in front of him today. He was coming home from work and said he just wanted to relax. He makes me feel so good, but I can't do the same for him. Maybe I'm not strict enough with them. We need him for a happy life, and I need them to realize that. I know it's probably a little harsh, but maybe if they don't see the light for a while, they'll finally see the light in him. Is she going to like lock him in a room? He told me, April 12th, 2012, he told me the banging on the closet door was making him making it hard for him to unwind. If they would be quiet for a little bit, everything would be fine. What's wrong with them? He doesn't visit as much as he used to. If I don't figure something out, I may never see him again. So Anita's mom started dating this new guy after her husband passed and or left. And he didn't like the kids, so she started locking them in a room or in the closet. Where's the bed sheets? I don't like this at all. I feel like I'm getting shorter and shorter. May 9th, 2012. Everything seems to be going well now that we've been out on dates. He was worried about my kids, so he brought them a bunch of books and toys. That should be enough to keep them occupied, right? I've been going out so much lately that I've left the place in a bit of a mess. You think I should clean it, but by the time I get back, I have no energy. May 25th, 2012. I got contacted by Child Welfare Center. I guess someone, some bitch or asshole from my building reported hearing a child yelling at night in my place. The fuck do they know? He hasn't called me much lately. Am I destined to be alone? Everyone else is out enjoying life while I'm working my ass off raising kids. Why am I the fucking bad guy? July 15th, 2012. If I hadn't had children, maybe I'd be planning my summer vacation with my friends right now. Nothing matters anymore. I'm just crawling through life. I know what's going on in the closet, but I can't look. I just want to be happy. What's wrong with that? I'm done. God. Miss Crystal Planert, we have reached out to you repeatedly but have yet to hear a response. We'll take this to mean you have no intention of remedying the issue. You're in violation of German Civil Code Article 1631, Section 2. According to the federal court, 
has instructed us to take your children. Should you have any objections to this, please contact us as soon as possible. Did they lock him? She locked him in the fridge, too. Boy found dead in refrigerator. Mother arrested August 4th, 2012. A boy was found dead today in a refrigerator in the home of his 41 year old mother, person A, who was arrested by local authorities for hiding the body. Person A claims to have locked her son in the closet for more than a day to punish him, and when she noticed he wasn't moving the next morning, she hid his lifeless body in the refrigerator. Investigators are conducting an autopsy to determine the cause of death. According to the investigation, person's A daughter ran to a neighbor's house to call the police and report her mother's neglect. When detectives arrived at the house, they discovered her brother's body in the refrigerator and arrested the mother after she confessed her crime. Oh, shit. Oh, if it's that flower check, I'll stay in here. Do I have a band shirt on? Why am I seeing this room here in the villa? I tried so hard to forget this place. Oh, man. Yes, let's run. Oh. Oh, fuck, I messed up. <laughs> I was going to try and go back in the room, but I saw a way to the right right there. <laughs> Oops. So that's, that's probably like where I'll go in a second. <laughs> Embarrassing. I barely made that. I got no idea where I'm going. Oh, I'm gonna die. Ooh. <laughs> I can't see that well. This thing better you leave me. Art, right? You could audit an art class. I have no idea where I'm going. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
well. Stop holding your breath, Donnie. You're gonna pass out. What are you hiding inside? I don't know which way it's gonna be coming from. Uh oh. Uh oh. Can't see. Oh. Damn, I'm back in here. It's really far away. Never. I'm gonna have to turn the brightness up. Oh fuck, I fucked up again. Damn! Relentless! Jesus. This is gonna happen again. Yeah. Everyone blames me. Let me out the door. It's more annoying than scary at this point, just because I don't know where the fuck I'm going. I heard. <laughs> Me, I'm not scared, I'm just breathing hard. No idea where I'm going. Oh! Yeah, I'm definitely lost. Oh, it's just, it looks like a TV. This is a dead end again, isn't it? Fuck, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, you're a bitch. Everything looks the goddamn same. Yeah. haven't been. I 
I don't know, it's just me going the right way. I think it does. I think this is the right way down here. No, nope, maybe I'm wrong as fuck. Dude, all this shit looks the same. Oh. I mean, maybe it looks a little different. Where the fuck am I? Oh. This is just like one of those games where I give up. Cause I'm like, where the fuck am I and where the fuck do I go? I have to find clues. I have to find clues to unlock the door. I didn't think about that while this bitch is chasing me. Oh god. I can't tell where it is. I can't tell where it is. <laughs> oh, this is like too stressful. Oh, I got all of them. Now I just gotta find the lock again. Without dying. Why? <laughs> Why? Fuck. 
Where's that door? Where's that door? I am not going the right way. Oh. Totally not going the right way. Usually my sense of directions in video games is, like, pretty good. But everything looks uh, fucking same here, so... Oh! This is it! This is it! Oh no! Oh my god, there's still one more lock on it! No! This bitch! This bitch! This bitch! This bitch! This bitch. Oh, I got away. Oh, nice! So I'm looking for one more thing. Damn, I thought I got them all. I can tell you right now, this is very tiresome. I've already been in here. Not enough time to look. Oh, okay, this is where I think I wanted to go. I've already been in 211. Oh. You are obsessed with me. Oh my god! Oh shit, oh shit. Oh fuck, I'm gonna have to do that whole thing again. This is fucked. Okay, I really have to focus. Sitting here with my legs propped up and everything. Alright. Emil! Oh, Lily. My, uh... oh my god. I wonder if the doors are staying unlocked or if I'm gonna find these pictures again, you know what I mean? Same thing, same thing. I cannot see. At least there's no dead ends, really. Way too hard on yourself. Three more. All right. One more. Oh, you like what you see? I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! 
Do not apologize to anyone. You're a victim. Well, never mind, you're kind of a bully. Whoa. Is this where I got cornered? I don't know if I like this. to 11 yet? Yeah. Ah, you're annoying. Huh? Shit. I know where, like, what the other one looks like, I just don't know where it is. I know it's gonna be, like, in a room kind of like this, like, on the wall like that. Oh! Oh my god. I will be so happy when I do this. I'm never gonna find him that fast again too, I bet. Okay, one, there's five, right? My hand's starting to hurt from running around like a little dip this whole time. Okay. Up close and personal. <laughs> You're so annoying. I hate you. One. I really like what you drew me way back. <laughs> Two. You could audit an art class. I can't see it. <laughs> oh, this is not good. Oh my god! Sometimes it just like runs so fast at you, you know? Oh my god. 
bad. <laughs> I like when it's bright. Oh, when it's bright like this. See, and when I panic run, I like forget where I am and like where I've been. This is the one I couldn't find last time, I think. Yeah. Yes, this is the one I could not find last time. get back in that corner where he is though. So. Oh no, I guess not. I don't even remember how many more I need. been in 11. There's probably like one in every room and I'm making this extra hard on myself. Oh. One more. Fuck your mom. Is it stuck in the door? Well, if it stays there, I'm not gonna be mad. I only need one more. I can get there. That'd be so cool. Oh, I never thought I was gonna get this shit done. Woo! Am I gonna be alone forever? I don't think so, honey. I think it's not gonna be like that for you.
February 21st. I've been really absorbed in my work lately. I've decided something, the girls who jumped off the villa roof. I'd like to think they went to somewhere better. I think I might finally be free of my despair because I've never felt this inspired. I'm going to put every last bit of myself into this piece. March 4th. My roof piece is almost done. It might actually be my greatest achievement, but once it's done, then what? What do I have time to come up with, with something even better? How much longer can I enjoy the fame and praise I get now? Is there despair and disappointment waiting for me right around the corner? The sadness that gripped me before has clawed its way into my mind. I guess it's always there. Who knows how often it'll show up. The thought makes my skin crawl. Maybe I should just end things while I'm still happy. Go out on a good note. I wish I could talk to someone about all this. March 13th, 2022, at approximately 1 p.m. on the 12th, popular graffiti artist Maya Aiko Heinenberg was found collapsed on the grounds of the apartment building in Kentonstad. She was pronounced dead at the hospital. The death of the 18-year-old girl comes as a shock to the local community members, but also those who were familiar with her work. Authorities believe the cause of death may be suicide, but given her popularity and the lack of warning signs to her peers, they have not ruled out foul play and are proceeding with a full-scale investigation. Did I push her off the roof? Herself half a year ago. Where'd you push her, Anita? That means I've been here this whole time. What'll it take for you to forgive me? Please end this. Just let me die. <laughs> Is this me? When did she draw this? I want to show the hidden side of girls. Their impulses. Their urges. What are you hiding inside? Don't worry about what people think. Be proud. So, she did notice me. liked the first picture I drew. Oh, those doodles are great. I could have had a different life, too. I guess someone finally did love me. He's probably mad at you. I didn't matter. 
No matter what anyone had said, I didn't listen. Anita? But you and Maya, both of you did see me. I should have figured that out sooner. Anita, wait. Where are you right now? Thank you, Amelie. Oh. You were always there for me. I'm... I'm going to go apologize to Maya now. Wait! Anita! Let's go shopping tomorrow. We can talk just the two of us. Tell each other everything that's on our minds. Don't go, Anita. Please don't leave me. Oh, oh did she like make it out of Silent Hill because she beat herself? <laughs> yes. Silent Hill is just your fears and insecurities used against you. Seeking a connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. Charlie. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone and need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. There's no beauty in living like that. But... I don't really mind. I just want someone to understand me. For those I love, and for those who love me, I want to keep moving forward and never look back to 18-year-old me. Hmm. Well, that was a cute game pretty sad but a nice little freebie from the silent hill creators that being my first one i know the other ones aren't like that they're more survival hard and you get like ammunition and you can fight back and stuff but that was you know a good little good little two hours aside from that thing chasing me a second ago that made me mad six out of ten no, maybe a 5. Maybe a 5.5 .5 out of 10.